meeting the kids and Ada for lunch. I see them coming. Good afternoon. I am putting away groceries. We have all sorts of Asian ingredients and check out these funky strawberries. I've never seen anything like this. They look like little torpedoes, little bullets, and they're just so beautiful. I just I just took some pictures. Look at that. It's not gorgeous. <clears throat> so I have strawberries, green beans, fresh pasta. Let's see what else? Um Lots have already been put away. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make um, cheese in a few minutes, so I'll show you that. And Polly got a whole milk for me, which we don't drink, um, just for making cheese. So I have to, I'm going to run downstairs to... <clears throat> our fridge is so full, I have to put some of the stuff in the downstairs refrigerator, like the juice and uh, the fresh pasta and a couple of veggies, so... Hopefully I won't forget about them. And then uh, I'm going to come back and make some fresh farmer cheese. So I just went to the coop and I got um, still warm green egg and these have been washed. You see in comparison you could see that one is a tint of blue, the other one's a tint of green. Again, so on white paper towel. I've prepped one container of strawberries. There were some that went to the chickens, so that's why I went out there actually give them all the stems. And then these are just too beautiful to cut quite yet, and they're really, really good, so there's no moisture in that, so I just prepped one. We'll have that later. I just sprinkled about a tablespoon of sugar in the raw over them. Some of them are a little tart, so I thought that might help macerate them in the fridge. So I'm gonna run back downstairs. <laughs> I'm getting my exercise because our fridge is full, so I'm bringing stuff down to the downstairs refrigerator, which is fine. So I'm going, I have water, oh, not water, milk. Let me show you. I have milk on the stove. I'm just going to bring it to like a low simmer, not quite boil, turn off the heat, and then add the vinegar to make uh, the um, farmer cheese. So I'm scalding my milk. Bad milk, bad, no, good milk, <laughs> not bad milk. See as bubbles start to form on the outside periphery and just a few here and there. Uh, I'm just about ready to turn it off. I'm going to um, add the vinegar off the heat and then you'll see magic happen before your eyes because it will go from liquid to a solid. Okay, it's turn off the heat. I have three tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. I happen to like the rice wine because it's uh, sugar-free and it has a lower acidic point, so for those of you who have issues with vinegar, uh, plus you don't really taste it, it's, uh, it's for the chemical reaction, so I'm going to pour that in and mix it, stir it, and then the magic will start to happen. See that? Curd. Just like that. Chemistry. Gotta love it. So, um, thanks to Noreen's suggestion, I'm gonna save the whey and I'm going to give some of it to my chickens. Let me take the spoon out and just rest it on the edge. See if I could do that without tipping it in. So there'll be, sorry, there's still steam rising. So there'll be more and more curd forming. And then I have a cheesecloth that I picked up a Dollar Tree of all places and, um, and saved myself $2.99 because it was $3.99 at the grocery store. And I'm going to line that in the fine mesh strainer and then strain out. I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit. Let's see, see that? It's just forming. So I'm gonna let that form completely, and then I'll be back. I'll show you what that looks like. Way better. Sorry, I couldn't resist the pun. So um, I did need to add a lot more vinegar. I totally forgot that I was using the volumes for 
a half gallon instead of a gallon. So it's about just shy of half a cup of vinegar. So, and, and you'll know when um, you're not seeing the separation of whey and curd. So I don't mind that it's not solid. I kind of like the crumbly. So I'm gonna grab my strainer, another pot and my cheesecloth and uh, strain it out because I'm gonna save the liquid to treat the chickens with. So here's my setup. I have another pot in the sink because it's gonna be warm. I have my fine strainer and the cheesecloth, which is all lined. I'm gonna pour it in, but off camera, unfortunately, so I'll show you what it looks like once it's poured in there. There it is. Um, now, the little pieces that you see in there, I just happened to scrape the bottom, so it's just a little bit of cooked milk. I don't care about it, but I could easily have strained it out. I could have just not scraped the bottom. Uh, they kind of look like orange zest peels, but hmm, not a problem. I did sprinkle a teaspoon of salt into the mixture before I strained it. So, let's see how much whey we have. So I've uh, squeezed it out, but I'm gonna leave it like this. It's got a bowl underneath and uh, look at this crumbly goodness. Mm. I like mine with drizzle of agave, something crunchy, like maybe some toasted nuts or granola, uh, maybe a splash of cream. Polly likes it with chives and more like a cottage cheese with some cracked black pepper. Check out the amount of whey that chickens are gonna get. I recycle these containers, so look at that. It's almost a gallon of whey, so they're gonna get a treat tomorrow morning because I think they're already in for the night. So yummy cheese, fresh cheese. It's kind of addicting. Mm. Again, I don't mind the little strands of cooked milk. It adds to the flavor. You can flavor this up any number of ways at this point. You can add some orange zest. You can add um, something sweet, something spicy, uh, some herbs. I have dill too. Mm, okay, I'm gonna stop eating this. <laughs> so I'll let this strain for a couple of hours. I am going to cover this up this way so it doesn't get any dust on it and then um, refrigerate it once it's uh, drained off all the liquid that I want it to. So that's how easy it is to make homemade farmer's cheese. So there's dinner, uh, burgers, no buns, uh, charred uh, Eric Curvers, little green beans, sauteed mushrooms and onions, and a giant salad that would not fit on the plate. Let me show you how big it is. It's spilling over in the bowl, giant. So yeah, plenty of greens. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and keeping us company and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching everyone.